Uh, the decision to, uh, on tax was taken nine days ago. Um, it's been kept completely tight until, you know, a couple of hours before the budget statement. I've no idea where it came from. It, it could easily be described as a bit of speculation because it says that I'm expected to, not that I would increase taxation, but I'm hugely frustrated by it because I, you know, I, 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 I treat Parliament with respect. It's not my interest to have information seeping out of the government. I've got a big statement to make today with all the details within it. So I've no interest in authorising or in leaking that information whatsoever. Our approach to taxation continues to be guided by, by our values and the principle that the tax burden should be proportionate to the ability to pay. This commitment to fairness is what under, underpins the choices we have made throughout this budget and it underpins our whole approach to taxation. In this budget, we are asking people on higher incomes to contribute more in taxation than those in lo on lower incomes. But with the majority of people in Scotland still paying less in taxation than if they lived in the rest of the United Kingdom. By these decisions, everyone in Scotland will be able to enjoy the benefits of strong public services and a comprehensive social contract. Presiding officer, on income tax, I intend to maintain the thresholds for the starter and basic rate bands at their current levels. I confirm I will also maintain the higher rate threshold at its current level and I will lower the top rate threshold from £150,000 to £125,140. I also intend to make no changes to the starter, basic and intermediate rates to protect those on lower incomes. I have decided to increase the higher and top rates of tax by one pence each to 42 pence and 47 pence respectively. As a result, we are asking all those earning more than £43,662 to pay an extra penny in income tax. And I want to be clear, that extra penny is being raised for a specific purpose. We've taken the decision to enable us to exceed the health resource Barnet consequentials from the UK Government with substantial additional investment in the National Health Service, an investment that will benefit us all. It is, in short, an extra penny to enable spending on patient care in our National Health Service.